Well, the jury's gone home for the day without reaching a verdict in the case against the man accused of killing a Weymouth police sergeant and a woman. That means deliberations have now been going on for four full days. The jury giving signs now that it could be having really a lot of trouble reaching a verdict. WBZ's Beth Germano is live for us in Dedham tonight. And Beth, the jury has come back with a couple of questions as well. Well, because jurors are clearly having a difficult time, and the judge says time is what they need with a very complex case. And since an alternate replaced a juror just yesterday, this is technically day two of deliberations, because they had to start all over again. Each of you must decide the case for yourself, but do so only after an impartial consideration of the evidence with your fellow jurors. Judge Beverly Canoni instructing the jury to once again resume deliberations in the double murder trial of Emanuel Lopes, an agonizing wait for the family of Weymouth Police Sergeant Michael Chesna, who've been in the courtroom for weeks, along with members of the Weymouth Police Department. Legal analyst Phil Tracy says there's clearly a struggle in the jury room over whether Lopes is mentally ill or a murderer. There's obviously uh, some tremendous pressure internally that says one group is probably saying he, this guy is insane and another said no he isn't he's crazy but he knew what he was doing. Lopes is accused of shooting and killing Sergeant Chesna with his own service gun following an encounter after a car accident five years ago. Then shooting and killing 77 year old Vera Adams as she stood inside the sunroom of her Weymouth home. Juror questions have largely centered on access to transcripts from mental health experts who testified, which Tracy says can be problematic for a group of people without expertise. The jurors are really trying to understand the mental health issue. And the question is this, they're just lay people, so it's really hard to understand, you know, the doctor talk. He says the facts of what happened are not in dispute, as the defense is asking that Lopes be found guilty by reason of insanity. But the judge says with a new alternate juror, they need more time and won't accept jurors are at an impasse. The Chesna family once again leaving the courthouse without answers. The jury is a uh, uh, competent jury. They're taking it seriously, the issue of mental illness and insanity. Now, the alternate was needed because another juror had a prior commitment, and this trial has gone on longer than expected. Looking around that courtroom, I can tell you there are very weary faces, and deliberations resume in the morning. Reporting live from outside Norfolk Superior Courthouse, I'm Beth Germano, WBC News. Beth